Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Euphoria OS version 1.1 for the Galaxy S3 so stay tuned for that. the Euphoria OS. It is one of the best custom ROMs I have used uh, at least when I was on my Nexus 5 for as my daily driver. I have used it. It was really awesome and uh, well now we have it on the S3. It has been a while since we have it on the S3 but I've got the time to review it right now so yeah. Uh, about the ROM now this is a mixture ROM like uh, what I mean to say is that it takes features from a lot of custom ROMs and uh, imports it, it into one single seamless experience so that is really cool you do have that in the about phone page you can see it is android 5.1.1 so no marshmallow goodies yet for the s3 um euphoria version is 1.1 build date is 9th november so it does uh, naturally have the security patches of november uh, already in build so you can actually use them so just in case you want a security patch it does use the archie kernel which is one of the best kernels available for the s3 for acm based rom so that is really awesome you do uh, you can actually install a uh, synapse and do a lot of stuff with it now there are a lot of extra settings as I've said this it takes features from a lot of other ROMs like CM bliss pop uh, I mean uh, AOKP all of that and import it into this ROM so you do have a lot of extra, uh, extra options now let's get started uh, first of all you do have live display ambient display enabled with uh, the fade in value brightness you do have a lot of options for that so that is really nice to have uh, you do have a con plug sleep uh, cast screen animations you do have options to change the animations of system toast list view and even enable scrolling cache screenshot delay is really awesome if uh, I would have liked to have this option before uh, when I was doing all the ROM reviews previously so yeah it also has LCD density changer I would normally select something lower so that I can get more real estate on my device so yeah it also has fun size enabler so you can change that it does have notification light settings you can actually customize all the uh, lights for different applications by customization so that is also really nice battery light also can be changed uh, all of these can be changed it's really awesome to have this is more of a signage and more and bliss pop feature so there are a lot of stuff disable torch on screen off when the screen is off the torch if you have enabled that will turn off so yeah depending on your preferences you can enable or disable that notification settings you do have heads up notification enable or disable you can customize them quick access button add up to uh, the do not disturb blacklist all that stuff can be done and when the device is off you do you want the uh, notification to show up or not so all that can be customized from here so that's really nice buttons you do have options for on-screen navigation buttons but that would disable the hardware button so yeah you have options there navigation ring uh, without the well when you have navigation bar in enabled you can actually have that a lot of options here are like answer call with the home button uh, sh the uh, end call with power button all that long press the uh, volume keys for playback control all that can be customized here even cursor control can be enabled disabled here so that's really nice to have battery settings now about the battery life of this ROM you can actually expect as much battery life you get from something like Archidroid or 5.1.1 ROM basically so you don't expect too much and you will be pretty happy with it so that's what I wanted to talk about um, it does have themes which is something which I really appreciate the science and more themes is something which I uh, like more than layers uh, but that's a personal thing I I don't expect everyone everyone to fall into that category I like this a lot because I use a particular theme which is called a less ugly themed uh, so I actually use that so this is the one which I really like about that so in the status bar options you do have options like clock styles you can actually have a center left right all that can be uh, customized to small AM PM indicator date small indicator all that can be enabled the weather in the status bar can be enabled so weather information will be given there status bar temperature can also be enabled which will show uh, temperature there so that's really cool placement can be changed to the left or to the right so yeah I'm not really entirely sure how that works but hey there is options network traffic indicator breathing notification for SMS missed call and voicemail that also can be enabled brightness controller by styling uh, sliding across the status bar so that is something which I really really like because uh, it kind of frees up one space for me uh, at uh, the um, 
in the quick setting panel so that's really nice to have notification count super user indicator a hash sign will be set there if you are going to use a super user application so that is also available there in the notification drawer option you do have quick pull down option smart pull down auto close panel on touch uh, vibrate on touch force expand notification task manager this is something which i really appreciate because uh, there are a lot of applications which just refuse to shut up so i just go for this thing and uh, rather than going to the application in settings uh, i can just kill them from there so that is really nice custom header image can be enabled so the header image will change according to the time of the day uh, order of tiles it does have a lot of tiles and you do have a lot of options to uh, customize them so oh, that is really cool it does have compass which is one my favorite one so yeah it does work so yeah, uh, show four tiles per row. You can also have four tiles per row rather than the normal three. Uh, you can delosh the uh, first two rows so it has to have more uh, tiles into one single page. You can also disable the brightness slider. I personally do this. I disable the brightness slider, enable the slide across the status bar for brightness uh, for more ease of use. So that does work out really nicely for me at least. So yeah. In the multitasking options, you do have a few options here. You do have a USB multitask, slim recent panel, and that is it so in the slim recent panel you can see the slim recent panel is just this one it does work and uh, that should be pretty much it you do have a few options for that also so you can actually have it on the left side top mode task will not be included or should it be included whatever you can actually enable disable that or you can go for the aosp uh, lollipop uh, recent panel whatever they call it uh, interface whatever so you can have that or you can and also you do have clear all buttons for that so it does work out nicely so yeah pretty nice rest everything is almost same as any other stock rom it does have privacy guard and uh, call block uh, blocker caller list so block caller list whatever it is so it does have privacy guard which is a cm feature which is really nice to have so yeah I guess that much is it about the settings menu. Something which I want to show you guys is in the developer option. If you go, well, developers, you, you have to enable that. There's something called advanced mode. If you are happy with whatever you are set right now and you don't want anyone else using your phone to work it up, well, you can just disable advanced mode and none of those settings are available right now other than themes. Uh, like the status bar option, notification drawer option, all of that are disabled. So no one, well, of course, without with the knowledge of this one, you can also disable this one to uh, get people not using your phone uh, to work it up. So yeah, you can actually use that a lot and it does work nicely. So yeah, this is something which I personally use because my brother uses his phone a lot and I don't want him to change uh, my settings out on the fly. So yeah, that's really nice to have. So that much is it in the settings menu. Rest everything. Let me just show you guys. Uh, it does come with document viewer, which I personally like because uh, I need some sort of file manager to just at least look at it. It does come with a browser. So yeah, I have actually flashed ES File Explorer because this cannot flash applications. So yeah, I guess that's not the best thing to have. Uh, it does come with the 11 music application. I have actually flashed uh, the end to the benchmark. It comes with audio effects, which is from Cyanogen mod. Uh, that is one of the ways you can uh, tweak your audio experience which is really I really it, it, it's personalized so I can't really talk too much about that so yeah let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty awesome so here is the boot animation which just says Android nothing else so yeah not as awesome as awesome as well I had previously hoped but hey it's still a boot animation so guys uh, I guess that much is it I will show you guys the Android benchmark score which is probably obligatory right now so yeah There you have it. That is the score which I received, which is about 22,000, which is a respectable score for any ROM on the S3. So that's really nice. Um, I guess that much is it about the Euphoria ROM right now. Uh, well, again, I don't want to say that this is a very mundane ROM, but this because it's not, it does have a lot of features and it is a very stable ROM for the most part. I didn't have any sort of uh. Uh, stability issues or force close issues with this one yet uh, the camera works I didn't have the um, problem of the camera can't connect yet but I know it is going to come uh, uh, in the two days I've been using it I didn't have that so yeah I'm really I'm really not going to get too much into that so yeah I guess that much is about the ROM hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye